We're here at the Snowmass Half Pipe at sunset. Okay, we got some athletes here. They're ready to go whenever you guys are ready. I'm leaving Draper's main key light on ETTL because it's doing a great job firing right into the setting sun. What Draper's going to be doing is filling probably at a front 45 degree angle from the right of the camera onto the athlete's face and body. I've set Corey's backlight to be plus one in ETTL mode, so um, we have a little bit of a stronger backlight. I'm using a 14 millimeter lens. That allows me to get right low to the lip. So we have Draper's flash at 105 millimeters and we set Corey's to 105 too. That gives us a little leeway as the athletes are moving so fast that we don't have to have such a tight uh, range of you know, focus with the lights. Might move away from that one a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Great shot. Nice tension in it. Nice. That's great. Here my camera is set to manual mode so I can underexpose the background. And the speed lights are in ETTL mode to perfectly expose the athlete. Whew. That's great. Awesome. Here we had a really great shoot on the half pipe today, and now we're shooting at a box and a little rail slide here. And what we're doing here is we're really side lighting the skiers at a 45 degree angle with the sun over the hills is casting a lot of reflection in the sky. So I'm putting the skiers as they're on the box in the halo created by the clouds there, um, and then having side lights. So we've got a little rib of shadow in the foreground. I'm in manual mode, I'm the 250th of a second at F7.1 at ISO 100. And then I've set my right. speed light groups to just pure TTL. We're using the three speed lights on the IDC triple threat system here, just the little spider holders. And Draper has three speed lights in group A. Corey has three speed lights in group B. And I can really you know, manipulate those as I need to on this STE3 transmitter and say, hey, just bump it up to get the best look. So far, I've been really happy with what we're getting in uh, TTL mode, just straight through. Our final setup here after sunset is at a small kicker jump. This is really my favorite time of day to shoot because the strobes can create such a dramatic look against the dusk sky. My A and my B, those are just at ETTL and they just know to illuminate the skier in the air at the right exposure. They're doing a great job. I haven't touched them and you'll see we're getting a lot of great stuff. This is an exciting setup in that we're working with the 1DX, and so I'm going to be shooting 12 frames a second, and our strobes are going to be able to keep up with that. As we get less light in the sky, it's much easier for the strobes to keep up. I'm always surprised that in 12 frames, there's one decisive frame that's always the best. So it's a big deal to be able to shoot at 12 frames a second rather than having to try to guess. I can let it rip. Drop in the in post-production, we can look at the computer and say, that's the perfect frame right there. We've had a great spring day here shooting on Snowmass Mountain. I hope this has been helpful for you guys to see a little bit of how the lighting setups work and maybe inspiring for your own photography as well. Happy shooting.